Well, good morning. This morning I'm reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and we're talking about the rapture of the church this morning. He says in verse 13, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. You know, when somebody dies and they don't know Jesus, there's no hope for them. And their family has no hope for them either. And it's this terrible, awful, tragic situation. But when a believer dies, we have hope. We have hope because we have the promise of the resurrection from the dead. And so he goes on to say, he says, I don't want you to sorrow as those who have no hope. Believers, when we lose loved ones that are believers in Jesus, we sorrow, but not like those who have no hope. And he goes on and says, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. To sleep in Jesus is the term that's used to describe a believer who has passed away. They are asleep in Jesus. He says in verse 15, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet with the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. <clears throat> so what he says is, is, he says, look, those who have already passed away that were believers in Christ, they're not going to miss out on his return. As a matter of fact, they get to go first. So when the Lord Jesus returns to get his church, he's not going to come all the way to the earth. He's going to come in the air. And he says, we're going to meet with him in the air. But guess who goes first? Those who are asleep in Jesus. So those who have already passed away, they are going to be caught up to meet with the Lord in the air. And then a twinkling of an eye later, those of us who are alive and remain to the coming of the Lord. When's this going to happen? Well, no man knows the day or the hour. Nobody knows exactly when this is going to happen. But folks, we are supposed to live each and every day as if this could happen. Some people say, well, this has to happen first, and this has to happen first, and this has to happen first. One of the things that we understand about the return of Jesus for his church, or what we call the rapture is, is that it could happen at any time. Was the Apostle Paul looking for it? Yes, he was. And every believer since then should be living their life, looking for and expecting the rapture of the church. What is it that's holding Jesus up? Well, it's the mission. It's the mission because the longer he tarries, the longer we have for world evangelization, the longer we have to make disciples, the longer we have to preach the gospel to every creature. Because when he returns, that's going to trigger the events that are going to begin to happen that the Bible calls the great tribulation. But we're not going to be here for that. We're going to be caught up to meet with the Lord in the air. He says there, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet with the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. It's going to be marvelous. It's going to be magnificent. It's going to be one of the most incredible things that, that could ever happen. And it's going to be for those of us who know Jesus. I just want to encourage you. The last verse of this in verse 18 says, Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Some of the most comforting words that have ever been written, some of the most comforting words that any believer could ever hear is this. Those that have already died before us, that believed in Jesus, we're going to meet up with them with the Lord in the clouds. They're not gone. They're not lost. We are going to see them again. They're going to get a new body about that much quicker then we get a new body if we're believers in Jesus. Listen, Jesus promised his church he was going to come back and get us. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I do know that it is going to happen. So I just want to encourage you today. Let's live life expecting the return of Jesus because it could happen at any time. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.